Mmm, it's positively balmy. Positively balmy. Okay. Gate cascade restriction restricted zone. It's positively balmy. So, ready for your first day? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There she is. Uh, what? There, what, what is? It's like a house. Space, exit the vehicle. What? Hey! Wasp it and shift to sprint. Okay. Okay, bye! Fucking, he just fucking left. Enter the shack, you got it. Hello? Yeah, it's me. I've seen this one, big multiplayer fun vibes, yeah? What's up, Jackson? Okay, you're the transfer, huh? That's me. You sure picked a day. Things a bit hectic downstairs this morning. Cool, Vargo. Just, uh, just grab your gate, pal, there. It'll help you get sorted. Open your journal to view uh, your current objective and notes. Your journal notes are stored by location. Gate cascade restricted zone notes. My gate pound stores useful data and communications. Assuming it works like the ones at the Springer facility, I'll, it'll be locked to my security clearance, so it only provides data for sectors I've got access to. Okay. Sorted? Okay. Most of what you need should be in your gate, pal. Well, eventually. But you're good to go. Head down to the elevator. It'll take you down to induction, and they'll take care of you. Okay. You don't mind if I just fuck around with these, do you? Okay, bye! When you encounter radiation, you will see small speckles or dots in your vision, increasing in intensity with the radiation strength. A little won't hurt, but long-term exposure will harm you. If you're seeing dots or spots, you should get out of the area or acquire protection from radiation. I won't get out of the area. It's just a little bit of radiation. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hello. Morning. Lift's down there. But first, you need a hard hat. Health and safety and stuff. So, you've got what you need. Head through the gate to my left. Down to the elevator. It'll take you down to induction. All right.
If you read the full warning in a radiation zone, it's Welcome already too late for to you. The Gate Cascade Research Facility. You are in the induction wing. The facility is currently at alert level precautionary. Please listen carefully to and follow all security instructions. Uh, what the fuck now is that? Now arriving at staff processing. I'm sorry, fucking what? This door won't budge. Hey, new transfer. That's uh, me. I got pulled in from surface duty. The usual lady, she got called out to help downstairs. Happens. Chaos is kind of our thing around here. You seem a bit no, very Half-Life 1 inspired. I'll unlock the gate in a second. This is really now, just Half-Life? Well, it's going to be a, it's a multiplayer it survival... Coming from the Springer facility, you'll or know the basics, but I don't know. since we, we deal with specimens directly, part, yeah. everyone on staff has to know basic ECP. Uh, that's emergency containment procedures. Oh, emergency okay. containment uh, procedures. Okay. Now, I have some instructions here that aren't really compatible with the current security situation around here, so we're just going to improvise a bit. Uh, bear with me. I'm going to have you crawl through that vent down there. Consider it like chasing down an escaped specimen. You got a big brain, you got a big imagination, right? I do. I do have a big imagination. And I also have a big brain. Why does he talk like Jim Kirk? Because he's big dumb like Jim Kirk. You can crouch to access vents and sneak if back. If there's something in your way, because I put it there, uh, there should be a tool down there. Something you can smash the crate with. Okay. You might have to look around a bit. And don't worry about smashing stuff. Like, we, uh, we, we have a lot of, we got a lot of crates. A lot of crates. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Very Minecraft in its destroy destruction. Give me that cloth. These are normal sized hands. Cloth scrap. Oh, what the hell? This damn radio's acting up. There we go. What the hell is that? Oh. All morning. All right. Where were we? They want you to capture a creature. Uh, the lady who's supposed to do this, she took all the nets downstairs with her. Uh, look around. Maybe you can make one out of something. Okay. As a scientist, you find inspiration all around you. Gain new crafting recipes and ideas by picking up resources, interacting with items, packaging furniture, and the occasional email. Press C to access your crafting and research menu. Some recipes are craftable right away, but ideas must first be invented. You learn the recipe to throw nets. Now craft some. Oh, okay. I, I was just thinking I'd grab like a plastic bag for you. know what? This this is why we do the jobs we do here at Gate. Uh, go ahead and throw your <laughs> fantastic net on the dummy. I made a net. Nice. You've got some athleticism in there. Uh, somewhere. Thanks. Uh, now... Real creatures might wriggle out of that one, but uh, that's not a real creature. So oh. next step is uh, I thought it was special containment, isolation, wash hands, inoculate. You, you know what? Just stomp on it. Uh, oh. Oh, <laughs> brutal. Uh, okay, so uh, next I'm bleeding. Oh, uh, what's going on with your leg there? I'm bleeding. It looks to me like you're bleeding. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Um, look, we'll call this training. Basic first aid. Uh-huh. Find some cloth and make a bandage. And uh, just keep this between us for now. I'll I'll buy you a beer in residence later. Sorry about that. Okay, there we you go. did that way cleaner than I would have. You would, wouldn't you? <laughs> You're going to fit right in down there. Looks like you can walk on it all right. Uh, let's head you on through to the next room. 
Feel free to mosey. I've got to check some stuff out. We got we got some weird crap going on today. Not going to lie to you. Yeah, this is good. I, I like it. Bandage arm, fix leg. Yeah. Email. Jane, stop this crazy thing. What's this I'm hearing about an investigation into our security? Has anyone spoken to you about it? Relax, Richard. It doesn't concern anyone in your sector. It's the labs team. You know how they are. Always scared someone's leaking information. Man suggested the exec is executive committee thinks someone may be monitoring our data network. I thought that was impossible. It's a Tarkov healing meta, yeah. That guy sounds like how I voiced Andy and Andy and Lele, sure. Fungus. Hey, you asked me to get in touch if we found any applications for new materials. You remember that fungus Lenora's team brought back? We did some tests. This stuff makes penicillin look like tap water. I reviewed the report. You're cleared to phase two. Yeah, it's very, very, very exceptionally Half-Life inspired. Someone needs to go back in there. We need more samples. The Silo 2 systems are online. Should be fine. I'll talk to TR. Okay. Okay, bye. Wow. That's a lot of water drank. Okay, fair. Oh, he actually put money in there. Wow. What did it say about that drink? Also, I have like no money. A grape flavored soda. Okay, I thought it said something else like this may be uh, not healthy for you or something. Feels like the beginning of Half-Life that oh, you said that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> So, I'm betting they didn't have these at Springer. It says here, all the door opens staff up. That's at Cascade need to honestly. understand the facility's unique power system. It goes into a lot of detail only an egghead would want. Uh, no offense. Every power socket here comes with its own little extension cable, and we build everything purpose-built for those sockets. So what you're going to do, you need to package the heater, place it back down near the power socket, and then... <laughs> Okay, now I know that was a lot. I I'm getting some weird interference on my radio. I'm gonna leave you to the whiteboard down there. You might need a screwdriver. I'll get back to you in a minute. I picked up the heater. Uh, station three, what? what's going on? Over. Station three, station two. Uh, I'm getting a lot of chatter. Keystone running some kind of shady op again. I'm building I see it. a bolt and I'm just I'm, I'm trying to finish up some work here. Okay, just let me know. Hey, nice work plugging in that I plug. I did the thing. Uh, we're done here. There's oh. some stuff on this list, but I, I don't reckon you're going to need it. That's why you've got people like me around. Keep you safe. Looks like I got to check on some situation topside. So, yeah, head to the elevator. It'll take you down to residences. Real cozy stuff. Uh, clipboard here says you're looking for a Dr. Can. Er, Con? Uh, it sounds familiar. Um, I guess he's in charge of the rest of your orientation. Okay. All right. Onward to science. I love science. The NPC oh, voice actor anyway. is great. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's, that just really gets me that the door's open like that. Uh, NPC voice actor is great. It seems like he's just a random dev in the dev team, but happen to be talented. No, oh, yeah, it's good. Attention. This is a high priority safety broadcast. You are currently en route to residence level seven. Due to an active I love that it just sounds like this is an uninteresting and normal and he's just getting through the effect. day 
Yeah. This elevator will be redirected to offices level one. Oh. Please remain in place and wait for security team assistance. Okay. Okay. In Abiotic Factory, your character is saved on a per-world basis. This means your character's traits, skills, items, equipment, and progress are tied to the world save on a given server. While character save is stored per-world, visual customization is stored locally and carried between servers. You need to select a job and start any traits for your character on each new world, which you'll do now. Okay. Lab assistant, biomedical engineer, kinesthesiologist, uh, or kinesiologist. Not a, not a, yeah, okay. Structural engineer, plant geneticist, nutritional advisor, theoretical physicist, defense analyst, summer intern. Great. Select positive and negative traits for your character. You stand out to your detriment and attract enemies' attention. 45 vast percent faster than others okay uh, let's see sprinting sink let's do let's do this you know fitness and are extremely at the athletic compared to your colleagues you can swing run take a hit well-rounded in all areas things fitness okay painfully obvious um, This is a kind of like a zomboid. Uh... What's up, Ray? How you doing today? Naturally moist. Yeah, where's that at? It's naturally moist? You're naturally moist and get thirsty 20% slower than others. Uh, more melee weapon damage. Let's do that. Uh, let's do... Um, two extra hot bar slots, thick skinned. I don't know, whatever. You can drink. Tainted water without getting sick. Gross. I'm stupid, but I can drink lead water. Sure. Let's do it. it was so moist. I don't think we've met. Nope. Hello. Ah, you're stuck here too, eh? Yeah. I came down from level eight for a coffee now i'm locked in here for god knows how long okay it'll be those fools on level three overreacting again <sighs> looks like jaeger's locked out typical see if you can let him in maybe he knows what's happened but take your time he's insufferable insufferable okay Duct tape. Okay, donkey. Hey, all right there. Uh, can't open from this side. Okay. Papers, chef hat, papers, cloth scrap. Chef's hat, baby. Well, you look like you can cook anyway. Water.
Can we suggest a game from Next Fest like that we developed? I've checked the Excel that you played. It isn't there. Yeah, just go ahead and submit it to the Discord. We have a... Uh, whoop. What the... What the fuck happened in here? Yeah, we have a game suggestions channel. Um, so go ahead and you post it there. There's a th there's actually a thread specifically for Next Fest stuff, but yeah. Yeah, no problem. All right, I guess we're going to go ahead and go into one of these vents. Hey. It's all blocked off. Oh. Yeah, that's probably fine. You know, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, shit! Okay. A raw carbuncle. Pick this up to gain potentially new ideas. I could just eat this. Just for funsies. I'm not even hungry. I could just eat it. You may want to craft some throw nets for self-defense. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Man. Y you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Sven Co-op. I could definitely see enjoying playing this with other people. Rip some metal vent in half. Science! That's right. Can't get it done without science. Let me just dismantle these pipes if you don't mind. Got a little bit of radiation going on here, too. Just a little bit. What? I got it. Stop it. Stop it. I got it. <laughs> Power sockets. Okay. Crafting bench. Let's see, what do we got here? Hey, Amura, I'm looking for a gift for a friend of mine who loves cooking. Any thoughts? Reply. They want to be a chef? Give them a knife. Until you chop it up, you can't cook it. Wow. Look at that. New recipe. Shiv. Nice. Yeah. 
Got it. Frying pan. A screaming hot frying pan. Ooh. How you doing, Chef? She's not doing great. While resting in any form helps to promote healing, lying down for a short while. Oh, no, no, no. Close that. I don't know what the fuck's in there. Hang on a second. Frying pan, power sockets, a knife, a knife. Now, I don't have space for all this stuff. Well, You can't just break pipe valves. Can too. Don't act like you know just because you're some kind of a plumber. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Calm down. Okay. I know better because I'm a scientist. Eat the ice cream. Hello. Over here. I got it. I need a re uh, repair brick, whatever the fuck that is. You're going to leave me standing here? What oh, do you, what do you want? You're new. Looks like that little pest damaged the power system. Can you get someone to fix it? But hurry, would you? I'm not enjoying standing around out here. It was hours last time. And I don't feel safe at all. Okay, but I'm gonna be a little while. I just ate a full gallon of ice cream and I'm kind of feeling sluggish. to remember that resting is key to staying in good health. Simply taking a moment to sit down, even on the floor, will give you the energy boost you need to get through your day. While resting in any form helps to promote healing, lying um. down for a short nap is the optimal way to getting back to your ideal physical condition. Getting adequate rest is vital to being a productive and valuable Carbuncle Crown. What the hell is that? Cascade Research Facility. Okay. What? Click the brain to check if the uh, recipe is the logical solution. No. Okay, I did it. Life at gate can okay. be demanding, so it's important to remember that resting is key to staying in good health. Simply taking a moment to sit down, even on the floor, will give you the energy boost you need to get through your day. While resting in any form helps to keep you Okay. It is a nice job. Member of the team at the Gate Cascade Reef. Yeah, I know I gotta open the cafeteria door, but I need a battery. All right, let's see here.
Use your brain. Oh, it's not the right stuff. Crafting bench. We did it. Still need a power supply unit, though. I can make a shiv, maybe. I need pens I don't have. I like that, like, you kind of have to figure this out. Okay, energy brick. Tech. Power supply. Circuit board. And a fan. I did it. I'm figuring it out. Science. Healing syringe. Wow. I'm sciencing like fucking crazy right now. We did it. A boom bait, a splint, a water bottle. Okay, I need... I need some more random shit, I guess. Life at gate can be demanding, so it's important to remember that resting is key to staying in good health. Simply taking a moment to sit down, even on the floor, will give you the energy boost you need to get through your day. While resting in any form helps to promote healing, lying down for a short nap is the optimal way to getting back to your ideal physical condition. Getting adequate rest is vital to being a productive and valuable member of the team at the Gate Cascade Research Facility. Oh my god, my inventory's full again! A makeshift frying pan? Eat that food. Okay, can we make this power supply now? Crafting bench. Got it. It needs power. Fuck. This isn't close enough, is it? While resting in any form helps to promote healing, lying down for a short nap is the optimal way of getting back to your ideal physical condition. Getting adequate rest is vital. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Screw that bench, Billy. I'm screwing it. I'm screwing it as fast as I can. Okay. Battery. Craft it. Hurry. I mean, hurry. You need to open the door. Oh, uh, uh oh. Uh 
Oh uh. shit! Not my fault! Not my fault! stuff left. Uh-oh. Hang on. I, I don't know if the net is even going to do it. Yeah, but it's, it's by him, though. Oh, here we go. This will make cloth. So it's important to remember that resting is staying in good health. Simply taking a moment to sit down, even on the floor, will give you the I don't know if Annette's going to work on this thing. Oh my Attention. god, it was so close to Enhanced being dead, dude. security protocols are now in effect. Oh, okay. Please locate security personnel and follow evacuation procedures. Look, I don't know what's going on. Okay. And don't tell me squat on a good day and this isn't a good day. But if the big voice says get out, I'd do what she says. Okay. The elevators are dead, so head for the main tunnel in manufacturing on level two. There's maps over there. But me, I'm staying right here. Yeah, so you got your peas. You got your peas and you got your uh, grape soda. It's, uh... Doesn't, uh... Doesn't smell great in there. Gotta let you know. But, uh, yeah. Not great. Cool. I don't know. This game seems pretty awesome, honestly. Um, like I said, it kind of reminds me of Sven Co-op. Old Half-Life mod. And uh, I could definitely... Definitely see... Spending a lot of time on this one. Um, it'd be kind of cool to do with friends or something. No, I don't know. I think I'm going to call it good there. Move on to the next demo. Yeah, I think this is really good. And like Sven Co-op is a completely dead game. So being able to have something uh, like this for, to, to get together with friends and, and check out is uh, pretty good. Seems better than Magical Delicacy. I mean, a completely different game. I mean, I I vibe way more with Abiotic Factor than I do uh, uh, Magical Delicacy, personally. But uh, there's a lot to like about the art style uh, in in both games. Honestly, I, I really like that that those large polygons like the that are used in. Uh, I think it's really cool. So this is a um, Half-Life inspired open world survival crafting game. Uh, can be played either solo or with a group. Gives me big Sven co-op vibes, which is a 
Half-Life 1 mod. And, uh, very fun. Just really good. Four out of five. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind playing it on stream, but it's definitely worth uh, checking out. I think that's definitely a very, uh, Very, very good. You two enjoy large polygons? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, 